Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the construction depth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's dive in. You are working on a construction project for a new pier adjacent to a river. Which of the following safety precautions must you follow? And then we're given four Roman numeral choices to evaluate. So if we look at this problem, we can tell that it is a construction depth problem. And if you're taking the construction depth discipline of the civil PE exam, we'll be given a series of OSHA um, regulations to use as a resource during the exam. So to solve this problem, we're going to look specifically at OSHA 29 CFR, stands for Code of Federal Regulations, 1926.106. And this regulation is called Working Over or Near Water and gives a series of requirements that must be followed. So let's look back at the problem statement and evaluate each one of these Roman numeral choices to see if it is required or not. And we'll use the regulation. So looking at Roman numeral one, employees must be provided life jackets or buoyant work vests. And so if we see in OSHA regulation 1926.106a, it says that the employees working over or near water must be provided with U.S. Coast Guard approved life jackets or buoyant work vests. So answer choice one seems like it is a requirement. So we'll check that and we'll continue our evaluation. Looking at Roman numeral choice number two, a U.S. Coast Guard approved radio must be provided on the site. So if we look at 1926.106 of the OSHA regulation, we don't see any mention of the requirement for a U.S. Coast Guard approved radio being on the site. So we'll cross that off the list as not required. Roman numeral choice three, ring buoys with at least 90 feet of line must be provided every 200 feet. And if we look at the regulation, we see that ring buoys are required with at least 90 feet of line. So that matches answer choice uh, Roman numeral three. And the regulation requires that the distance between the ring buoys shall not exceed 200 feet. And so that matches 200 feet. We want to carefully read these values and make sure that they match the regulation, which in this case we do. So Roman numeral 3 seems like it is a valid answer as well. And then finally, Roman numeral 4, at least one life-saving skiff must be provided at the site. And we see that OSHA 1926.106D requires that at least one life-saving skiff shall be immediately available at locations where employees are working over or adjacent to water. So again, we're told in the problem statement that this is adjacent to a river. And in answer choice, Roman numeral 4, at least one life-saving skiff must be provided. So that matches the regulation. So Roman numeral 4 would be a valid answer choice as well. So summing it up, we have Roman numeral 1, 3, and 4 as being the requirements. And that matches answer choice C as our final answer. And we've successfully solved this problem. So I hope that helped you. And if you're looking for more practice and review, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breadth and depth review courses for more practice. And we'll see you there.